Good evening, and thanks for tuning in to Coolidge College Student News. This is Catherine Diaz here reporting live with Alex McGinnis. Today is a proud day for all Coolidge College students as we have been ranked the number one party school on Playboy and Princeton polls. That's great, Alex, but I'm sad to report along with last night's antics, there were two deaths reported. The names are yet to be released, however, police say that students were raging while under the influence of alcohol and drugs. That's very unfortunate to hear, Catherine. Yes, so horrible. On other breaking news, this Thursday, police were forced to use tear gas on a party that got out of hand. This party was located east of State Street in an abandoned house. Police reported these students broke into the home through windows and neighbors soon after called for noise complaints. On the scene, police confiscated two pounds of marijuana, numerous bottles of alcohol, kegs, and prescription drugs. Sounds like a crazy party, huh, Catherine? Sure does, but I guess we're not ranked number one for nothing. We'll be right back after this commercial. Hello, proud students of Coolidge College. I'm happy to tell you that there's a new reason to be proud of your great university. Both Princeton and Playboy magazine rated our beachfront school number one in the nation uh, for partying. From day drinking on the beach to nightclubs and house parties on campus, every night there's something to do. And here's a few kids to tell you what they love to do when they party. I like to party. It's pretty fun to go to parties with my friends. They're pretty hot girls that go to parties. They look, they look nice. Yeah, like parties are super fun. Like I love the cute boys and getting super wasted with my girls. It's like so warm so I get to wear my booty shorts all the time. Holla! So as you can see, our school is a great party school. So remember to rage hard and keep the number one spot. today. Hello viewers, Catherine and Alex back with you with Coolidge College Student News. Can you believe we still have snow on the grounds in May? I sure hope we have some sun here on the horizon. I know, I can't believe it. Well, why don't we find out the upcoming weather with Nim? Take it over, Nim. Thanks, Crafton. So today's weather is mostly foggy. Probably from that party you were talking about. <laughs> on the north side of the campus, there seems to be a little bit of flooding. The water keeps on squirting out from the big long river we got over there, and it's probably gonna keep on coming. I suggest bringing on that old rain boot, it's cause it's gonna be a wet one, folks. And make sure to bring the umbrella, Ella, Ella, A. So today's game will probably be cancelled due to excessive flooding on the fields. Sam screwed up. Alright, I wrote Sam screwed up. <laughs> Today we'll be having a high. Today will be foggy. Tomorrow will be rainy. Tuesday will be thundery with only one bolt. Wednesday will be sunny. High of 69, low of 69. It's going to be a good day. Thursday will be super windy. Probably blow your woman's hair back. Friday, again, 69, 69, beautiful Friday night. Saturday, still the same weather. Hasn't changed. Keep it classy. Hello oh, Coolidge College, this is a friendly public service announcement and a quick such education lesson from your professor, Hannah. I was in college that long ago. I know how you guys twerk and rage for a good time on the weekends. I also know what use of alcohol and drugs can lead to. When you're at a party and you see an attractive member of the opposite sex, it's part of the birds and the bees lessons and plan to have your mind start going somewhere you feel is innocent, natural, and fun. This is just a friendly reminder, reason to tell you not to have sex. First reason, pregnancies. 820,000 teens become pregnant each year. That means that 34% of teenagers have at least one pregnancy with, before they turn 20. Second reason is STDs. That stands for sexually transmitted diseases. Um, there's lots of different kinds. They lead to really bad things like infertility and death. And the STD hotline, if you case you guys need anything, is 1-800-277-8922. Regardless of the reason it's not to have sex, you guys probably will anyways. Let's be honest, you guys are at parties, drinking, you guys are all horny teens. Um, please just make sure to wear a condom. I trust you guys want to do that. Don't make me get a banana and a condom out. Um, so just please wear condoms. And 
we're going to end with a little quote from our friend Little Wayne. Safe sex is great sex. Better wear a latex. Because you don't want that latex that I think I'm latex. He he. So wrap it up. Thank you guys. Welcome back from our PSA announcement with Hannah Sinclair. Now we'll go over to sports with Alex. Thanks, Catherine and Alex. So this week in the National Beer Pong Tournament semifinals, fourth-ranked Oklahoma takes on second-ranked Florida. It should be an interesting matchup as Florida star shooter Aaron Johnson will be benched due to an emergency liver transplant. The door will be wide open for Oklahoma to move on to the championship game if they can just hold it together. However, Oklahoma may be in for a surprise as rumors have been circulating about a possible celebrity shot from Gerard Butler for Florida. On the other side of the bracket, 12th-ranked East Washington will hope to further their Cinderella story against first-ranked Alabama. Smart money is on Alabama, however, because no team ranked over ninth has ever made it into the finals. In other news, uh, British University Cambridge has challenged Boston College to a game of Revolutionary War Pong. This modified version of beer pong has very strict rules, which I will now explain. One team, the British, lines nine cups in a straight line at the end of the table. The other team, the American, has five cups, placing whatever formation they want. Uh, once per game, the British can add a Hessian soldier to their line, which is another beer, but it has to be German in origin. And every five minutes, the Americans get another beer on their lines to do or to bolster their ranks every five minutes. Accents and patriotic songs are highly encouraged. This should, be a pr this should prove to be a very popular event, as the last re revolutionary Pong game was played in 1923. Last night, Coolidge College Intramural Championship game of Flippy Cup was held at an undisclosed location. However, due to copious amounts of liquid beverages, the winner of the game was unclear. Conflicting reports about who the victor was are widespread. Some claim it was Brad Cunningham of the Pike House, while others say Matt Harrison took home the trophy. Photos are being compiled of the event for evidence, and ultimately the winner will be decided by a commission of five independent private investigators. Back to you guys. On other breaking news, man protests that he had urine thrown on him by Kappa Slapa Ho fraternity members. He went on to sue the fraternity and received $300,000. The police probably told him, you're in trouble. <laughs> Sex education under attack at other colleges across the nation for inappropriate student-teacher demonstrations. Sorority girls were put on trial for allegedly posting pornographic images online. Dorm room caught on fire from candles that had burned all through the night. Luckily, no one was injured. One of our very own college athletes was out for a broken leg this week. And lastly, our new gym has opened on the west side of campus and now will be available to students to burn off that freshman 15. That's all for tonight, folks. Thanks for tuning in with Coolidge College News. I'm Catherine Diaz, and this is Alex McGinnis. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Right. Woohoo! We're done. <laughs>